Hi, I'm Paul Dansback, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Today we're in a building that is constructed with a heavy timber bowstring truss roof. As you can see, the bowstring truss roof is exposed. There's no truss law. Any fire in this building can be fought by firefighters with a heavy caliber hose stream and have direct access up into the trusses without any obstructions to the hose stream. Joining us today is Deputy Chief Steve Kalman of the Hackensack Fire Department. Back in July 1st, 1988, Hackensack Fire Department suffered a fire at the Hackensack Ford dealership. Deputy Chief Kalman is going to talk to us a little bit about that fire and the actions the Hackensack Fire Department took after that fire. Chief? Subsequently at that fire, five members of the Hackensack Fire Department perished while attempting to extinguish the fire. The difference at the Ford fire, which was an auto dealership, was that the bowstring truss roof was concealed and the main body of fire was in the truss area involving stored materials which were illegally stored in the truss area. One of the subsequent results of that fire was the failure to identify the type of construction which was the bowstring truss roof. And since that fire, immediately after that fire, steps were taken to identify every truss roof in the city by going and actually looking at every commercial building in the city and cataloging the type of truss if one was encountered. The fire uh, exposed the dangers of fighting a fire in truss construction. A couple of the construction features of this building that we want to point out are the ability of the fire department to identify the trusses from the exterior of the building. As we view the trusses, we can identify the areas of support by the brick columns that are constructed into the exterior walls. These brick columns are visible from the exterior for the firefighters to recognize where the trusses are supported on the exterior wall. We also notice as we move the camera through the building that this is actually a double truss, meaning that two trusses are lined up in the same horizontal plane spanning side to side of the building. One truss is actually open. There's no truss loft. It's a wide open truss space. The other part of the building where the second truss is supported is actually in a concealed space. That is a danger to the fire service. If fire were to extend into that concealed space or originate in that concealed space, the fire can grow in intensity, causing significant damage to that truss, leading to early failure of that truss and a large area collapse on the roof. As I mentioned earlier, one of the first actions taken by the department immediately after the Ford fire was the recognition and identification of all trusses in the city. They were also placed in a database computer-aided dispatch system. So since that time, the information was given to the companies upon, res upon dispatch of an alarm or a fire at a building consisting of trust construction. Another action that the Hackensack Fire Department took was to require that all buildings with a truss roof or floor be identified with a placard located on the outside of the building. We're going to look at one of those placards in a minute. That local ordinance eventually became a requirement in the New Jersey State Uniform Fire Code, which requires that all buildings with cons that are constructed with some form of a truss be identified with a placard on the outside of the building. The bowstring truss roof of this building is easily identified by responding firefighters because of the unique shape of the roof. Not all truss roofs and bowstring truss roofs will be this easy to identify. Some buildings will have a parapet wall or other wall built around the perimeter of the building to hide or disguise that roof. Firefighters then must employ other means to identify truss roofs on the building. When we're inside the building, we talked about where the trusses were supported on the exterior wall. It was easily identifiable by the brick column inside. Well, we have the same feature on the exterior wall of the building. Here we can see where the brick column is built into the wall. Firefighters can then identify where the trusses are supported on the brick wall. One of the lessons learned from the Ford fire was the failure to identify the type of construction specifically to bowstring truss roof and the associated dangers with the same. Paul spoke about the placarding which was required by city ordinance shortly after the fire ensures that the company officers of the first arriving units have a better shot at identifying any type of truss construction. The sign you see in the background, the triangular sign, needs to be placed within five feet of the entrance of any building consisting of a truss roof or floor system. 
Identification of buildings constructed with truss roofs is of paramount importance to firefighters. Thanks for watching this session of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.